taking BCAs during your fast, whether it breaks your fast or not. And in my opinion, it does or it should. And here's what I mean by this. Intermittent fasting is an amazing tool that we can utilize to reduce inflammation, to have increased energy levels, to live longer, and most of all, to burn more body fat. However, to be in a fasted state, that means zero calories or does it? In this video I'm going to go over a list of drinks that are going to either help you while you're fasting or drinks that are going to break your fast. If you have any drinks that I don't mention in this video so make sure you watch to the end of the video then go in the comment section down below and ask me about any drinks that I might not have covered. So let's start with some drinks that you can have and that will help you during your fast. So the first one is black coffee. You can't add milk, sugar or any cream things like that to your black coffee but plain old black coffee is allowed during a fast. I recommend one to two cups during a fast and it's gonna help because it's full of antioxidants. It's also going to boost your metabolism because of the caffeine in your coffee. It's gonna help suppress your appetite, allowing you to go a little further in your fast. And it will just give you a little bit of an energy boost as well. Some people will say that black coffee actually reduces autophagy. And the truth is that it actually increases autophagy. I'm not going to go into the science and go in depth on this video because it does require its own video, which I will do at some point. Drink number two is plain old water. Now, yes, you can obviously drink water during a fast, and I want you to drink as much water as you want, or at least make sure that you're drinking an adequate amount of water per day and during your fast as well. If you're somebody that doesn't add seasoning to your food, you don't add sea salt to your food, then you can add a little sea salt to your water. That's gonna make your fast a little easier because sea salt is one of our electrolytes. Number three is sparkling water. I personally don't drink sparkling water very often, but it will not break a fast, it's good to go, and it can actually help suppress your appetite a little, allowing you to go further. Drink number four is apple cider vinegar. Now this again deserves its own video or multiple videos, but apple cider vinegar does have some incredible health benefits and fat loss benefits as well. It's not a magical drink that everybody tells you it is, that if you just drink two cups a day, you won't have to do anything and your fat will just melt away. It's not like that, it doesn't work like that, but it will help, it will give you a little boost. And like I said, I will be able to do a video on that later down the line but it's good to go to drink during your fast. You can drink apple cider vinegar during your fast. A lot of people recommend it. I'm not personally against drinking apple cider vinegar in your fast. I choose not to. I drink my apple cider vinegar when I break my fast with my first meal. If you're getting any value from this video so far, then consider clicking the subscribe button to learn more about intermittent fasting, fat loss, and how to build muscle and get in shape as well. So let's now talk about some things that will break your fast. And things that will break your fast basically means it's either gonna have a certain amount of calories in there or it spikes your insulin. The first one is any type of soda. So for example, like Coca-Cola, if you drink that, even though it might have zero calories in it, it's going to spike your insulin. The reason is because the sweeteners that are in those drinks, such as sucralose, or some of them use maltodextrin and maltodextrose, those sweeteners will definitely spike your insulin, so it will break your fast. Number two drink that will break your fast is either milk or creamers, things that you might add to your coffee, and the reason those break your fast is simply just because they have too many calories in them. Number three drink that will break your fast, and I've put this in the break your fast category for reasons I'm gonna explain in a second. So number three is BCAAs. So BCAAs, if you don't know, are branch chain amino acids. They're basically found in protein, and it's the BCAAs found in protein that help you build more muscle. You take it in a powder form. A lot of people will take the powder, mix it in some water, and drink that, so they're utilizing it as a form of supplementation. Now, taking BCAAs during your fast whether it breaks your fast or not is totally up for debate. Some people read studies that show that it does, some people read studies and it shows it doesn't. So there's no real answer. And in my opinion, it does or it should. And here's what I mean by this. The amino acid that spikes your insulin the most is leucine. That happens to be the most important amino acid for building muscle. There is no more, they're all important, but that is the most important amino acid. Most products are shit products, and they won't have, they'll maybe have one to two grams of leucine, which is not enough. It'll still spike your insulin, but it's not enough for it to be a good product. If your product is a good product and it has four to five grams of leucine, 
that will 100% break your fast. There's no argument on that. That's gonna spike your insulin too much. But here's the point. The reason you would take BCAs is because you want to prevent muscle breakdown during a fast because you don't have any protein, you're not anabolic. However, it's totally irrelevant because when you're fasting, your body produces up to 2,000% increase in growth hormone. Growth hormone is muscle sparing, which means you will not lose any muscle while you're fasting. Now, if you was to fast for days on end, of course you would lose muscle, but fasting for less than one day or half a day is not going to result in you losing any muscle. And as a result, BCAs are totally unnecessary to drink during your fast. The next drink in the list is herbal drinks. So when I say herbal drinks, I just mean green tea, black tea, any type of tea, things like that. And I've put them in the list of breaking your fast because I don't think you should consume them. They have incredible benefits and they're all great, black tea, green tea especially. And a lot of people recommend them during your fast and they can help you during your fast. However, the point of a fast is to drink water and no food. These little things like black coffee and green tea can definitely help you during your fast. But the reason I don't want you to drink them during your fast is because if we're drinking two cups of black coffee and two cups of apple cider vinegar and two cups of black tea and two cups of green tea, before you know it, we're consuming things every hour during the fast. And that's not the point of a fast, is to keep consuming things all the time. So what I personally do is I drink my green tea after my fast. If I'm taking any supplements, if I'm taking vitamin D3, K2, any type of vitamin C, it doesn't matter. I actually have my green tea and I take my supplements after my fast. You can drink your green tea whenever you like or black tea. I wouldn't drink it before bed because of the caffeine. Or another alternative is let's say you drank a black coffee on day one of your fast and on the next day of your fast you alternated and had some green tea. I'm just not a big component of having loads of different things all in that fast. I know this video has been really helpful. It's been even good for me just to re-remind myself of my ideas and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy then remember to subscribe.